Hello and welcome to this finishing your dissertation video. My name is Hasnan Kayyum and I'm one of the study advisors based at the University of Reading Library. The aim of this video is to explore some strategies which will help you to successfully finish your dissertation. Also, we will examine some useful tips covering how to avoid simple mistakes that can lose you easy marks in your dissertation. To successfully complete your dissertation, it is vital to have a clear and specific question. In selecting a research topic, students sometimes use what Ray Martin called dreaming in a vacuum. He stated that some students believe great ideas come from moments of inspiration. Students who walk in the park, backpack in the mountains or sit in quiet places to contemplate, learn a lot about parks, backpacking and contemplation, but little else. Waiting for inspiration is not the best approach to topic selection. Dissertation topics do not mystically appear. You must proactively search them out. If you need more help in this area, then please visit our dissertation guide covering how to select your topic and narrow down to a more specific, manageable and a good research question. Also remember, good time management is vital for the successful completion of your project. Remember, the time you have to complete your project is your most important resource. It is crucial, therefore, that you use your time wisely and efficiently. Useful resources about how to manage your time effectively are available in our study advice web pages. Also, remember to limit new commitments and prioritize tasks. During the process of writing your dissertation, limit new commitments. It is very vital and also you need to prioritize tasks. When we talk with students about what they need to do and want to do, we find there tend to be a lot of overlap. Students need to eat and sleep, to go to class, to study, to show up for work and to take time for themselves, to exercise and to socialize. But students want to be doing those things too because in the intensity of the day, week, term, needs are being sacrificed. As workload and deadlines build, we may cut back our sleep time, forget to eat meals, forgot taking time for ourselves to exercise or see friends so that we can instead double down on our study. It's hard, it's common and it can be unhealthy too. Figuring out how you are going to prioritize your commitments, deadlines, projects, work, health and well-being can be a great step towards increasing your effectiveness. Using prioritization to manage your workload during the process of finishing your dissertation can help you to increase your efficiency. It has many benefits. First of all, it helps to reduce stress and increase productivity. Everybody puts things off sometimes, but keep putting things off and the work or study will pile up and begin to seem an impossible task. Delaying things to the last minute is also a cause of stress and stress can interfere with your ability to learn and to remember things. Stress has serious implications not only for productivity but also for your health as well. This is where prioritization can become quite helpful. Knowing that you don't have to finish all tasks at, at once or in a single day will give you a more flexible time to focus on the most important things first. Once you have written a task down, you can stop worrying about forgetting to do it. This relieves stress and many a sleepless night. Prioritization also helps you complete the most important and the most urgent tasks first. You are less likely to become sidetracked when focusing on your list and you will gain more of a sense of purpose. It is very satisfying to take things off as you do them and this encourages you to do more and to stay on course with your list. This gives you a feeling of control over your workload rather than feeling that the work is controlling you. Some students struggle to decide what to do first. According to Kovi, your most important work is always ahead of you, never behind you. 
Therefore, begin to prioritize your study by listing the tasks you need to do in order of importance. In other words, compile a to-do list. Make sure you break the large tasks down into more manageable ones and perhaps split your list into things to do now, this week and this month. Finally, make sure you drop a new list frequently. During your dissertation where missing deadlines is not an option, the urgency versus importance model can help you to manage your available time productively. Covey's model allows you to organize your tasks much more efficiently. As you can see from the graphic, the matrix is separated into four quadrants that are organized by importance and urgency. A task can be important plus urgent. Examples of this might be things that are due soon or needing to deal with emergencies or crises. It's the stuff that you can't stop thinking or that carries a lot of weight and impact. Final revision for the exam, looming assignment deadline, and double check essay before submission are some examples of important plus urgent tasks. Here it is vital to mention that be cautious of using the quadrant one too often as it will keep you in the firefighter mode frequently. The first quadrant should only contain those activities and responsibilities that require your immediate attention. Quadrant 2 contains important but not urgent tasks. Examples of this could be projects and tasks required planning and working ahead. Literature search, writing your methodology section, data collection or examples of tasks you should tackle in Quadrant 2. This is the quadrant where you should idly be spending most of your time. The goal is to work on important tasks before they become urgent and cause an imbalance in your overall time schedule. So if you want to finish your dissertation successfully, you need to spend most of your time in quadrant two. Quadrant three, which is dedicated to urgent but not important tasks. It consists of interruptions and fun events that come up. They might not be important, but they feel urgent because they carry emotional resonance. Try to spend least amount of your productive time on the activities in Quadrant 3. While Quadrant 4 is composed of both not important and not urgent tasks. Here you might be engaging in time waster activities intentionally or unintentionally. Aimless internet browsing, watching a TV for hours, and video games are examples of activities you need to eliminate. All the activities contained therein are nothing more than distractions. Avoid them as much as you can. Remember how you choose to prioritize may be different than someone else's approach. But using prioritization as a part of your time management strategy can help you to increase your efficiency. You can simplify urgency versus importance metrics according to your comfort and need. The dissertation writing process can quickly become paralyzing because of its size and importance. The longer you delay writing, the more difficult it will be to actually start the process. The answer to your paralysis is to start writing. Are you unsure of your argument? You may be right, your argument may not be airtight and you may need to do more reading, but you will be able to determine to what degree these problems need attention when you start writing. Write continually. So don't stop writing. Of course, you need to continue to read and study and take notes. But remember, your dissertation is not to turn in a hundred pages of notes to your supervisor. You must produce a dissertation with complete sentences and paragraphs and chapters. Therefore, keep writing. Finally, it is vital to remember, write in order to rewrite. Writing sooner and writing continually can only happen if you are not consumed with perfection. Some of us are discouraged from writing because we think our first draft needs to be our final draft. But this is exactly the problem. Get your thoughts on paper and plan to go back and fix awkward sentences, poor word choices and illogical arguments in your subsequent drafts. Knowing that, that rewriting is part of the writing process will free you to write persistently and make an excellent progress in your project. 
finishing off and checking through. This stage can be time consuming. So leave yourself enough time to have a final read through of your dissertation to pick up any lingering mistakes or typos. Good presentation matters. It gives a professional appearance and puts the reader in a good mood. So it is worth making sure you have enough time to proofread and get your layout right. General principles are double space your writing, do not have narrow margins and print on one side of the page only. Use a font that is legible and looks professional. Check what should be included in cover pages and headers and footers. Have a clear table of contents to help your reader. Consider what information should be put in appendices and check that you have referred to the appropriate appendix in your text. To be successful in your dissertation, it is vital to arrange regular meetings and frequent contact with your dissertation supervisor. Be proactive in seeking feedback from your supervisor. Ask for help when you get stuck. Remember, asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. For literature search strategies or reference management software training, please contact academic liaison librarian. For general study skills support, please do not hesitate to contact study advice. If you feel stuck, it might be best to seek dissertation help and support sooner rather than later. I hope you find this video helpful and for more resources covering how to successfully finish your dissertation, please visit our web pages. I wish you all the very best in your studies and thank you for watching this video.